All right, check it out. We got glasses on today. I'm feeling studious today. We got a full head of curls. We got lawnmowers. We got arcade machines. We got four liters and we have transmissions. But speaking of transmissions, I'm feeling good because today is going to be my first transmission video up on a Platinum Garage. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to replace your transmission fluid. We're going to drop the pan and we're going to replace the filter. This process will work on your 2002 to 2010 Ford Explorer or Mercury Mountaineer with the 4.0 liter V6 engine. The fill procedure is the same for the V8, but the filter is a little different. I will leave all the links in the description down below. We're using Mercon 5 today or Mercon V for other people that like to pronounce it that way. And here we have a Wix 58898 filter. I love Wix, I use them all the time. Fantastic quality. So let's go, let's get this video started. Oh, there you are. How many people out there like that? All right, so let's go over a couple things real quick. I put this transmission in 60,000 miles ago. At 30K, I changed the fluid. It's another 30K, I'm changing the fluid again. I recommend a 30,000 mile interval in between changes for your automatic transmissions. Now, if you have an Explorer with a 5R55 that has above 150,000 miles and the fluid's never been touched, I recommend don't change it. If it has under 150K, yeah, drop the pan, change the filter, change the fluid. What happens is the transmissions break down, the clutch material breaks down, it contaminates the fluid, and then the contamination in the fluid is actually what holds pressure in the transmission. So if you let out all the fluid and put in new fluid, that material isn't there anymore and you start to have problems. So, I mean, I've seen transmissions on Explorers have well over 200K, never seen a fluid change, and they still shifted fine. So it's not worth the risk if you have a high mile transmission, something bad could happen. So with that out of the way, let's keep going. Now, quickly, I just wanna make a mention of this. If you want to take the gamble on a high mileage transmission and try to change the fluid and filter, just buy a brand new, never used bucket and drain the fluid into that bucket and keep it off to the side because if you fill it up with new fluid, and you see the transmission starting to have problems, you can actually put the old fluid back in, which I've seen mechanics do before. People have bought their cars back and said, my transmission isn't shifting right. So they put the old fluid back in and the problems go away. So just keep that in mind. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and lift your seat. No, 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 I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay, first things first, we're gonna get this vehicle nice and high up in the air. If you have ramps, awesome. I used two floor jacks. One in the front under the frame, put two jack stands, two jack stands, always better to be safe. I'm a small bean, but that's okay because it's easier for me to reach in places that a lot of people can't. Look at that wrist, there's no meat on that. Anyways, we got the vehicle up in the air, it's nice and level. Now we can go underneath and we can get started. Okay, here we are underneath the vehicle. Got some nice cardboard from my local shopping mall. Shout out to Lululemon for supplying today's cardboard, thank you. We have our drain pan, and then if you look here, that's our drain plug. In the center is a T30 Torx. It's a 1 8 NPT thread. Uh, you'll need to know why later, I'll show you. And then this big guy, we do not need to remove yet. So we're gonna go ahead and remove our T30 inner Torx plug and let the fluid drain into our drain pan. You just gotta send it. Here we go. All right, you guys like seriously, I hope you guys enjoy these videos because this is this is some bull crap. The T30 just snapped off. So what we got to do now is completely remove this bolt here. Great, dude. I wanted to show you both ways. God. 22 millimeter. We're going to remove this whole thing. 22 millimeter. Okay, this is gonna make a mess of a lifetime. Exxon Valdez. This is some good backup, I got backup. Woo! Nice and clean, baby, that's how I like it. All right, so there's gonna be about seven quarts that drains out of this pan. Once it's done draining, we'll go ahead and we can start cracking the bolts loose. There's a series of eight millimeter bolts going all the way around. That looks good, imagine if that came out black. Oof. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed these videos because some of the stuff I go through sometimes just to record is insane. You just saw the T30 snap off. Luckily, I have another fitting, so that's not really too big of an issue, but 
I mean, this is firsthand right here. All these other videos you see, not everything always goes as planned. And that's it, exhibit A. All right, we're gonna let this drain. I'll be back with the next step. All right guys, check it out. Transmission pan, there's a series of eight millimeter bolts going all the way around. Now I'm not gonna bore you to death by showing you how to remove every bolt. If you can change your transmission fluid, you can remove eight millimeter bolts. So I'm just gonna show you one for demonstration purposes. Get that up on there. Ready, set. Exhibit B, remove eight millimeter transmission bolts from pan. Once I get all of them out, except for one or two to hold it in place, I'll start the camera again and show you how I lower it out of the truck. Okay, splendid. We are on to exhibit C, subsection 49.3 of you getting to watch me struggle. I have three transmission bolts left. Let's get this one out. Two have been claimed by the pan of fluid, luckily. <laughs> Three have been claimed by the fluid, luckily. One left. Hold it with a hand. Hey. Hey. That's heavy. Okay. Let her down. Let her down. Oh. That's heavy. Okay. Okay, I successfully removed the pan without creating a thousand dollars in damage. Excellent. All right, I am very happy with the way this pan looks. A little bit of debris, nothing major. Fluid is still ruby red. Looks good. We're gonna clean our pan up real nice. We're gonna clean our magnet up real nice. Now the Wix filter kit does include a new gasket but these are actually reusable, so you can reuse this gasket in any event. Now I know nothing about transmissions whatsoever, so I don't even know what I'm looking at, but it looks pretty good to me. All right, everybody. Paper towels, brake clean, plastic scraper. Go ahead, get this pan nice and clean. The magnet actually comes out, which is nice, so you can clean it in your hands. You don't have to worry about it being in here. So pull the magnet out, clean everything. I just scraped for a long time. I got the gasket mating surface nice and clean. I'm gonna brake clean finally on the inside, put our magnet back, and then the pan will be prepped and ready to put back in the truck. All right, with the pan nice and clean, it's now time to head back under the vehicle and we're gonna remove the old filter and install the new one. All right. Removal of the filter is quite simple. We have two eight millimeter bolts. There's one right here. There's one right here. We're gonna undo those two. Give it a little bit of a shimmy and then pull the filter straight down. More fluid might come out, so leave your drain pan underneath it. Long bolt. One. Two, good, and beautiful, old filter out. Now, this is actually a perfect demonstration. As you can see right here, that's the inlet for the fluid. The pump pulls it through there, and on the old filter, the O-ring came off and it got stuck in this little groove here. So all you have to do is go in there and very carefully remove the old o-ring because the new filter won't seal if you leave that old o-ring in there it's plastic you kind of got to get in there with a pick and pull it out perfect with our filter off now is a good time because it's not in our way to go ahead and start cleaning the mating surface of the transmission case itself again i'm going to use brake clean and paper towels Get that as clean as I can. After that, we'll go ahead and we'll install the new filter. Transmission filter installation. Very simply, we are going to take our new filter, put it up into position. Dude, I literally just put all of my hair down and a huge pool of transmission fluid. That's all right, it adds patina. 
Now, the torque spec on these two long eight millimeter bolts is 89 inch pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench that's a quarter inch like I do, you can just take your ratchet and just go nice and snug. Don't kill it. 89 inch pounds. Good. Done. Now what we can do is go ahead and take our transmission pan that's clean, get our new gasket, put the pan in place. I'm going to start getting some bolts in. And then what we're going to do is torque them down to 89 inch pounds in a cross pattern. We're not going to go in a circle. We're going to crisscross. That way it clamps down evenly on the gasket, 89 inch pounds. Okay, so you remember earlier in the footage, I snapped that T30 off in this fitting. This fitting threads into the pan. So basically what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna wrap some Teflon tape around this plug, get it into the pan, snug it down. Then we're gonna remove this T30. Now the T30, like I said earlier in the video, is a 1 8 NPT. Basically, instead of buying the OTC filler kit online, you can literally go to Home Depot, Lowe's, your local auto parts store, get a 1 8 NPT fitting to 5 16 or half inch hose barb. And basically we're gonna slip the hose over the barb. We're gonna thread it into this fitting right here. And we're gonna pump the fluid into the pan. It's as simple as that. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to thread this into the pan of the transmission and we need to pump five quarts into the transmission with the vehicle off. There's two ways to do that. You can either use a hand pump like this, or if you're bougie like me, you can take a scavenge pump. Uh, this is just 12 volts. I'm gonna stick this hose into the bottle and just pump five quarts into the pan. Let's do it. All right, home stretch, let's do this. We have our fitting in with the center T30 removed. Now I'm gonna take that 1 8 to 516 hose barb adapter. We are gonna thread this right in there. Beautiful, look at that, heckin' perfect. Now we can go ahead and take one side of our pump and just zoot, like so. The other side, I'm gonna put into my bottle and we're gonna start pumping five quarts of fluid right into the transmission. How is that one quart already? That's insane. There it is, wow. All right guys, next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the truck and we're gonna let it idle for five to 10 minutes. Once we start it, we can pump in another two quarts. Basically, the transmission needs to be between 80 and 110 degrees. Right now, the ambient temperature outside is 60 degrees, so it shouldn't take that long to warm up. About five minutes of idle time. Once I turn the engine on and the pump starts sucking the fluid into the transmission, I'm going to pump another two quarts into it, and then I'm gonna show you the procedure to let it auto adjust, and you'll know when you're good. It has been approximately five minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is remove my hose. All right, as you can see right now, the transmission is overfilled. It's coming out as a steady stream and that's okay. 
What's going to happen now is the transmission is going to auto adjust the fluid. And you'll see once it starts coming out in small spurts, it's the perfect level. So right now we're gonna let it self adjust. Now as it's self adjusting, this is a good time to get your T30 ready. Make sure you have that on standby because as soon as the right fluid level comes, we're gonna cap it. All right, as you can see, it's starting to slow down a little bit. We're starting to get a couple of spurts in there. So that's good. Yep, you can see it's starting to slow down. Very shortly, we'll be at the perfect fluid level. All right, and with the fluid just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug the T30. Set, go. Get that in there nice and snug. Absolutely beautiful. All right guys, that is it. That's how you change the transmission fluid and filter and pan gasket on your 2002 to 2010 Ford Explorer Mountaineer. It'll work for some Mustangs as well, except they're not four wheel drive, but it, the fluid procedure is the same. And I mean, all right, granted we did kind of make a mess, but we saved a ton of money and we did it ourselves. So now from start to finish, you know how to change the transmission fluid on your Ford Explorer with a 5R55 transmission. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, there were some bloopers. You can see what happens in the day of the life of me. But nonetheless, we got the job done and it came out absolutely mint. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for a million views on the channel. That is absolutely amazing. I had no idea. Just me with a four liter and a transmission and an Explorer would get a million views. But here we are. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace. Just as a little bit of proof that my uh, footage actually works, my tutorials actually work. Here we go, going on a ride. Absolute butter, fifth gear, and there's the overdrive. Perfect. That's it absolutely perfect shifting like butter no issues whatsoever drops into reverse immediately and that's it that's a home run there you go there's the proof thanks guys